Hello, Leo, and welcome to your love reading for the week of October 2nd, 2020. So just so you know, all the decks that I use will be listed in the description box below. And because I've received some comments recently, I just want to remind everybody that this won't resonate with everyone. Um, so if it doesn't resonate, maybe because it's a love reading, look for your Venus sign. Uh, and you can go to like Cafe Astrology and other sites where they'll give you a free natal chart if you put in your information. Okay? But, um, so, Leo. This is for Leo's love reading, October 7th. 7th? 2nd? I'm sorry. Hello, Leo! <laughs> okay, so these are the Angel Answer Oracle cards. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a card and we're going to leave it for the end of the reading. And it will either answer your question or it will uh, be a part of the reading. Okay, and this these are the Romance Angel Oracle cards. We're gonna start your love reading with one of these, and then we'll move on to the, whoa, to the uh, tarot cards, where we'll get a better description. I did think something turned over, but not, apparently, sorry. Okay, Leo. Oh, something did. Ah, thought so. Your first card is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Ooh, that sounds good, Leo. Awesome, so apparently you know somebody, you've met somebody, or you're about to meet somebody that you have chemistry with. Now granted, in light of what's going on in the world, expressing that chemistry may be difficult. So, but in time, right? In time, things will, will get better. Let's see, can I get some cards for Leo's love reading? October 2nd, 2020, Leo love. Leo love. Let's see. Leo love. Okay, we're gonna have to do the count, I guess, Leo. I'm so sorry, seven, six. Oh, here we go. Now we have cards coming out. What'd we get here? Whoops. Got one card. Oh, we got the star. So Leo, you could be dealing with an Aquarius <clears throat> or you could be getting a lot of attention. And I would imagine that the attention is probably coming from the person you have chemistry with. I know some Leos and I would probably imagine this is holding true. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Can I get some more cards for Leo's love reading for October 2nd, 2020? Can I get some cards for Leo's love? Some cards for Leo love. Oh, Leo love. Come on, Leo love. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, we got the four pentacles. That's a, the book describes this as a miser. One of the books, a miser, holding on too tight. Usually it symbolizes the need to relax and let go a little bit like you're holding on way too tight. So the next card is the Empress. Well, damn, if you're the Empress, you can relax and let go because you got it going on. Look at you. You're beautiful. Look at this. Things are, the, everything is just growing. The harvest, there's, there's lots of plants and seeds and flood, sun, sunflowers, sunflower seeds. And you know what I just realized? Look at that. There is, it looks to me like a headstone and it has a female sign on it. So maybe, you know what's coming to mind? If you're a female Leo, it's like you are becoming more, this is gonna sound old and old fashioned, but womanly, like you're losing your, oh, as I've gotten older, I always think of like, when you're a teenager, you have like, pardon these words, like baby fat and, that doesn't sound good. Not that you're fat when you're in your teens or your 20s, but there's a different look. When you look at a woman who's in her 30s or 40s, there's a different look. It's almost like, the, I really think that women become more beautiful. And I think that whatever's going on right now, Leo, no matter how you may feel, that this person that you have chemistry with and sees you as a star, this is how they see you. To them, you are becoming more beautiful. So 
stop worrying because this to me means like you're terrified of like oh my god what's going to happen i may lose them blah 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 get out of your head relax because they see you as the empress you are hot you're the hottie i like it it's good so let's get some clarifiers here let's get some here i get a better one let's get some outcome cards for leo's love reading because your love reading is pretty uh, obvious here. This to me means that someone is just, they're worried that the person they have chemistry with is not with them in the feeling. And I think you're wrong. And I think that if you're too much of that uh, miser, that holding back thing, I think that you run the risk of them going away. But they see you as the empress, so don't do that. Okay, some cards. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Can I get another uh, outcome card for Leo? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got some good cards here. Oh, how perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. So the first card that came out is Judgment. And if I remember correctly, Judgment is... I want to say, well, it could be involving law, but I don't think this is anything to do with law, to be honest with you. I, 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 I. Oh, and by the way, the Empress, I always forget, in the standard tarot, she has uh, 12 uh, stars in her crown, and they represent uh, all 12 signs which means someone could be seeing you as the future mother or father of their children. <laughs> so someone is thinking of the future with you, without a doubt, Leo. This is so funny because I have some Leos in my life and I would say that I am reading for them right now and I'm not outing you all. <laughs> and what is judgment? Judgment is... Ruled by Pluto, the god of the underworld, an angel sounds a trumpet, suggestive of the final judgment. This card is trans of transformation. A fresh start is possible. It's time to forgive and forget, or perhaps do some soul searching. A promotion baby in the works. This, to me, signifies the relationship is being looked at um, as moving in uh, to the next level. This, that's what this to me. This heralds a change. That means this couple, if they were going out, maybe they're getting engaged so the next card that came out is the five of cups and that's spilt milk that's like saying i have oh i'm so sad because i don't have blah 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 but not realizing that you you have all this i mean you could be upset i mean life is, is not always perfect and i don't know about you but i find that it's rare that everything is 100 percent perfect you know, so stop looking at all the negative, stop holding on so tight, enjoy and remember what you do have. And I have to say that this relationship, the six of cups, now, depending on which one you're looking at, this one is reminiscent of childhood. So this person you have chemistry with who sees you as the star and now is the empress and the possible future of their you know, granted, if you're in your older and can't have kids, it's just the person maybe that sees you as having a new life with. But if you're younger, this is possibly a person from school, from your childhood, who brings back good memories. And look at how happy they are. So I would have to say, Leo, this is wonderful. Your relationship is moving to a whole new level. You just got to relax and remember to see, I think what in the Five of Cups, what to me it's saying is you need to see yourself as they see you, not as you see you. Take the judgment out of, I need to lose five pounds, oh, my hair is too flat, my hair is too curly, all those silly things, take them out because this person sees you as this and this is everything. This is their whole, this is everything they could ever want is the Empress. And this is what they go back to. They still see you as this wonderful, sweet, adorable, their childhood memories. You're all that. This is wonderful. So Leah, let's see what your angel answer oracle card is. Get more information. 
this kind of, uh, to me, I don't know what your question is, but um, my thought is when you're worried and you're having that five of cups in, uh, moment, get more information speaks to you needing to uh, stop and get more information and remind yourself that you have to see you through their eyes because if they care about you, if there's chemistry, it's not what you think. I, I, let me tell you a strange story, but it's coming to mind. So I feel like I need to tell you. I remember uh, I was talking to a friend, a male friend, and a woman walked by with yoga pants on that were, in my eyes, I would say too tight. They actually were tight enough where they were shiny. And you could see all the little cellulite marks on her legs and everything. And I thought, oh, that's awful. I mean, what's that awful? She looks great. And I thought, really? So it's about perspective. Because as women, we are so critical. When we look at ourselves in the mirror, this is what we see. All these cups spilled. When a man looks at us, he sees the two cups filled. Especially if he cares about you. If he cares about you, this is what he sees. He sees her. He sees this sweet person, this wonderful person. So get out of your head, Leo. And I'm sure this goes both ways, you know. You fall in love with a person for who they are, not all that other stuff. So, Leo, it looks like a great week. Stop judging. Just enjoy yourself. This could go the distance, okay? So you take care. Have a great weekend, great rest of the week, and be careful. Bye.